Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Anoto and this is a Magna Classic in chased green. We have an Anoto Longitude. We have a Anoto Magna Carta, a Anoto British Museum Great Court Vitreous. We have an Anoto Rosetta Stone. We have the Jubilee pen. And we have the Coronation pen from Anoto. And we have a Montegrappa. And this is the Game of Thrones Winter is Here. We have a Montegrappa Bartolomeo Ferracina in shiny circles. And then we have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 and that is the Shiny Lines Dove. So I think let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is a, a very beautiful chased uh, pattern. And I really do like that Anoto do these. Uh, this is really what put me onto Anoto initially, was these beautiful chase patterns. You used to get this a lot in vintage on the Ebonite pens, uh, but you never normally would see the chase pattern filled in in a silver or a gold and this is what i really do like about this pen so it is an anoto it is a uh, modern version anoto in in acrylic or resin but it does have that chased uh sort of almost like a sort of chain link uh, armor sort of effect going on there um this is actually quite a decently sized pen comes with a number seven uh, nib and um, this comes uh, or th this is a, a replacement nib I bought for this one and this is a number seven size nib it's a medium nib uh, these are cartridge converter pens uh, these resins although you can now get the plunger and you can see I've actually emptied this out so I'm going to need to refill this actually um, tempted to actually put a different ink in there uh, this time but I probably won't because that's just me. I, I, I typically think I'm going to put another ink in there and then I just go with the same ink again. Um, you can post these caps and they do post quite nicely. You can get an added weight inside the barrel that I think adds about 30 or 32 grams in weight. Um, you can get the plunger now in these models as well. Uh, but this is the cartridge converter one. But I really am loving this. Uh, the reason why I got a replacement nib was the uh, I bought this second hand and the original owner had got the nib ground down to what was a very flat, crisp italic. And I do not like crisp italics. So uh, I was able to round the edges of that crisp italic off and, and I did a pretty good job on it, but there was so little tipping that I couldn't make it into more of a stub that I wanted to. Uh, more rounded edges so I decided in the end I would just I got it for a really good price so I decided I was just going to buy a nib from Anoto and I did that in March uh, this year and very glad I did because I am now uh, I, I loved writing with this pen but I really love writing with it now so uh, it's it's uh, the nib makes as you know all the difference when you're writing with a pen and whether or not you want to write with a pen or whether or not you want to keep a pen in your collection this pen I, I bought to the end of 2022, and this was the Anoto Longitude. And um, I always get the name muddled up on this. I always want to say Constitution. Um, th this was actually a pen commemorating one of the worst disasters in British maritime history. Tragic loss of the Association, a second-rate ship of the line and Admiral's flagship, with three accompanying ships. And this was off of uh, Gibraltar. So um, it's such a, a tragic, tragic story. But um, th this actually worked out. The reason why uh, this is called the Longitude is that uh, the association was actually the first ship that actually managed to map out the Longitude. Uh, so obviously you have Latitude and then you have Longitude. So, so this is why this is called the Longitude. And... 
you'll see that there. It really, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful work of art there. I, I love the the pattern going on. I love this rope here around the, the cap. Uh, and then you've got the, the ship's wheel there. You've got a, a big anchor clip here as well. Um, it, it's, it's a beautiful pen. Um, it is a resin pen, but you do have the coordinates there um, of uh, the wreck of the ship. And parts of the ship uh, was uh, made into this pen. So the rope here, the cap finial here as well, uh, and also this as well. So um, it, it is a resin pen, and I think I could have got a plunger on this, but I got a converter, and you can see that I've run it dry. Um, I'm going to re-ink it back up again because I want to write with this pen. I like it. comes with a number 7 size 18-count uh, um, gold nib. Um, you can post the cap, and it will post deeply and securely. But as you can imagine, this is quite a lot of weight on the cap. So it does kind of want me to pull the pen back off of the page. Um, but the, the, the pen itself is actually quite light. So it's really the cap that adds that weight to it so uh, for that reason i i wouldn't uh, recommend posting uh, the cap on that pen the next pen here uh, is the Anoto magna carta and um i want to say i think this was my first Anoto. uh i'm just trying to to think did i yeah i think this was my first Anoto. i got it before the the chase green so this this was my first anoto and i went to the pen show and i did say to anoto look i'm gonna buy this pen but i want to try the nibs out first and i tried the fine nib and i really liked it and i have to say that uh it, it's a beautiful pen so it is a magna carta so it does have parts of the magna carta inscribed into this cap and body there as well you've got the coat of arms there uh and then it says here if i scroll it around you've got magna carta on the cap band and then 1215 which is when it was all signed um and then you've got the uh coin finial there as well a beautiful pen it doesn't post though the cap will not post not designed to do so it's a number seven size 18 count gold nib it's a fine nib it's a cartridge converter and when i say it won't post it it, it will post, but it's not going to sit on there. It's going to wobble. So this is not a pen to be posting your cap with. But uh, it's a significantly long pen anyway, so it wouldn't bother me personally. Um, and, and I would just put the cap down on the desk somewhere. Uh, typically, I, I'll put it sort of like uh, over here more, like to the back of the page or the top of the page uh, if I'm writing or, or a notebook so that that way then... Uh, I'm not going to sort of knock the cap off the, the desk um, or lose the cap. Uh, the next pen here is the uh, Anoto British Museum Great Court. And this is the vitreous. It's a, a vitreous enamel that they've got uh, on this pen. It's, again, a solid silver pen. So like the, the Magna Carta there, it is uh, around 93, 95 grams in weight. A uh, beautiful, beautiful work of art on the enamel. Uh, and you can see here it says uh, on the cat man, the British Museum there. Again, like solid silver pen. Um, the cap isn't designed to be posted. And comes with a number seven size uh, nib there. Um, and uh, that's a, a, a nice, again, another fine nib. Uh, and this is a cartridge converter. Although now I do know that you can get the plunger fillers that will screw into the cartridge converter uh, hole. Although I think Anoto said that the section had to be made a little bit wider. So I don't know if they're fully interchangeable. I will need to check with Anoto on that. Uh, I, I have a feeling that they might be, but I'm not 100% sure. So I will need to check with Anoto when I, when I uh, meet up with Anoto next time. Because um, I know they did do a lot of work with the revised uh, metal or brass, I think it's brass, um, version of the, the plunger. 
The next pen inked up here is the Anoto Rosetta Stone. And uh, again, I absolutely love this pen. Just like the Magna Carta, you'll see here on the cat band, it says the Rosetta Stone there. And you'll see all of these hieroglyphs and writing. This is all uh, bits from the Rosetta Stone that was uncovered. And you can just see that there in various languages. Absolutely stunning work of art. Uh, again, not designed to be posted the cap, uh, but it does have a number seven size uh, 18 cat gold nib. It's a fine nib. And again, uh, good size in my hand as well. And this, uh, it does have a cartridge converter, not the uh, plunger filler, which uh, I know to call it a plunger filler. And I, uh, I, I think originally uh, a noto in the 1920s when they, they, uh, patented it they called it the plunger filler but uh in more modern times they're normally called vac fillers because it's a vacuum that that uh is is actually created the next pen inked up which you can see here is just a little bit shorter maybe just a smidgen thinner as well is the uh queen's jubilee pen um from Anoto. And this is absolutely beautiful. You can just see there, again, a work of art. Uh, the, these pens are all made for Anoto by uh, UK or British silversmiths uh, in the Birmingham Jewelry Quarter. And some of these will also, uh, for Anoto, uh, be making pens uh, that have made um, or, or repaired, made repairs for the royal family on their their silverware, their goldware, their jewels, uh, their crowns. So um, a lot of these silversmiths are actually really sought after, that they are really the, the best at their job. Um, so so I, I'm really pleased that, that I was able to buy this pen in commemoration to, to the Queen. Uh, she passed away in 2022. Uh, this was the Jubilee pen, so... Uh, for the Platinum Jubilee. Uh, has a number seven size Anoto fine nib there. Uh, but this isn't a cartridge converter. I did get an upgrade on this uh, to the plunger filler, the vac filler that you can see there. Uh, and it does actually go in quite deeply and it has to be screwed in quite tight or pushed in quite tight. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you want this pen you can post the cap if you are a cap poster so that is good uh so the the, the um finial here is a little bit more tapered uh so you can post that cap but beautiful pen i, I really do like that pen a lot and uh i didn't think i was going to like it as much as uh the next pen which is the uh, king's coronation pen uh, this wasn't the pen that the king charles iii wrote with um but it was a similar pen that was made by the royal jeweler and or the royal silversmith and uh very similar but anoto had this one uh made uh again a beautiful beautiful uh pen uh you can see here it has uh, some very very ornate uh, uh sort of etching here uh, it is laser etched, so although it it feels smooth to the touch, uh, it is if you if you um, go over it with a microfiber cloth, you will feel it catching and feel it quite rough. But there is so much detail on this; it is a beautiful pen. So so glad I was able to 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 get this. And I don't know if you can see that there, but it's even got the king's head on it so <laughs> it's it's an amazing pen um and you've also got obviously the coronation there as well finial uh again it comes with a number seven size nib uh, actually let's say this one had a i can't remember if i said this one had a fine nib. it's a medium nib and so is this one it's a medium as well uh, you can also uh post the cap on this one if you want to uh there were a hundred of the Jubilee pens made and only seven of these. Seven, yes, you heard right, seven. Uh, and I got one of them. So uh, that in itself is quite an achievement. Um, 
I've got limited edition pens. I I don't think like I I've had. Would you call a? I'm guessing what I'm thinking about here is would you call a custom made pen a limited edition pen when there's only one made? Probably not. But I do have a lot of custom made pens. But this, in terms of actual numbered edition pens, I don't think I've had anything lower than ten or fifteen. So, so number seven. This is number seven of seven. So, uh, and and this is seven of uh, uh, I think it was a hundred. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a lot of pen uh, or uh, a small amount of numbered edition is what I'm trying to get to. So, uh, quite a unique uh, selling point, I would say, in terms of limited edition. The next pen here is the Montegrappa, and this is the Game of Thrones. Winter is here. Again, absolutely stunning pen. Yes, that is blue on the clip, uh, ice, and yes, the clip moves. Uh, and if I if I move the clip here, you'll see that the head moves as well. Absolutely stunning pen, and I'm so glad I was able to, to pick this up. Um, you'll find... A lot of pens that you look at when you're you're lusting after pens, you'll look at the the retail price on the pens, and they may not sell because the retail price is so high. Um, are they worth that price? Most likely, but it's just who is going to buy a pen at a certain hefty price. So over time, pen prices do come down. Retailers want to. Um, sort of get rid of their stocks so they can buy more stock. So sometimes you do have the opportunity of buying a pen like this at a good price, a uh, very good price. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. So this comes with a number six size uh, Montegrappa 18 cap gold nib there. It's a medium nib. You can post the cap, but it's not going to post deeply, um, But and it will wobble slightly. So And it is on that piston knob as well. It is a piston filling pen, so I wouldn't honestly post this. Uh, I I think over time you're either going to damage the piston or you're going to crack the cap if you're not careful. Uh, and I think that cap is going to fall off uh, if you do keep trying to post that cap. The next pen inked up is the uh, Montegrappa Bartolomeo Ferracina in shiny circles celluloid. Uh, it also has a clock there as well. Beautiful pen. Uh, I like it a lot. I do like the shiny circles celluloid. I do like the, the shiny lines as well, but I think the shiny circles just appeals to me a little bit more. And uh, this is quite a, a long pen and a bulbous pen that you can see here. Um, but it's very comfortable to hold. It's got a number eight size Montegrappa medium nib. Uh, it's a piston filling pen. You can post a cap, but it is hugely back weighted so again this is not a pen that you will want to post but you can see inside of my hand it's actually a long pen so uh you probably won't find the need to post that pen and then the last pen which is a much smaller pen is this one it's a montagrappa extra 1930 shiny lines dove this was a goulet exclusive uh, there were other extra 1930s and extra autos in the shiny lines celluloid, uh, but this was a Goulet exclusive. Uh, you've got the Montegrappa there, you've got a dove, and then you've got the, the dove of peace on the nib as well there. It's a number eight size medium nib. Uh, it is a piston filling pen. It is quite a short pen. Um, I do find it a little bit short. Uh, I have actually posted the cap a few times. But it won't pass. It won't post past the piston, so you've got to be careful when taking that off. So that's just something to bear in mind. But I do find this a little bit on the shorter side of of what I would prefer. But I do like that pen a lot, and I have got it inked up again this week. So that's my ten pens currently inked for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen inked up is the Anoto Magna Classic in Chase Green. So, we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. 
And this nib now uh, that I've uh, replaced the nib on this one uh, from the custom ground one that was on here previously writes perfectly. So this is the Anoto Magna Classic in chased green, sometimes called jade. Uh, it's a medium and uh, it's an 18 count gold nib. And then the ink in here is Diamine Meadow. And I keep wanting to think that I'm going to ink it up with Diamine Apple Glory, but I, I do like Diamine Meadow. Uh, I remember a time where I preferred Diamine Apple Glory a little bit more than Meadow, but it's now really uh, the tables have turned and it's gone the opposite way. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Longitude. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And uh, I'm just about going to have to ink this one back up because I have almost written it dry. And I wonder if I've got enough ink or if I'm going to have to ink it back up before I get to the end of this. Um, this is the Anoto Longitude. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 count gold nib. I might be okay, actually. The ink in here is Pelican Edelstein uh, Topaz, which uh, is a beautiful uh, topaz blue, cerulean blue colored ink, uh, an ink that I like a lot. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Magna Carta. And this is a pen that I really, really do like. Um, I just like everything about this pen. I like the weight. I like the size. I like the, the sort of aged, sort of burnished, like, silver. Uh, it's just... And, and the pen writes well. So, so for me, everything I like about this pen. So uh, this is the Anoto... Magna Carta, and uh, it is a, a fine, and it's an 18 count gold uh, nib. It's a number seven size nib, and then the ink in here is Diamine Earl Grey. But that is a uh, lovely, lovely pen, and I think it's one of those pens in my collection that I probably would not ever sell unless I absolutely had to. And then the next pen is probably in that same category. It's the Anoto uh, British Museum Great Court Vitreous. So we'll do a, an ink swatch here. And again, this is a beautiful writing pen and I just love the pen as well. I love everything about the pen. So this is the Anoto British Museum Great Court uh, Vitreous. And uh, it's a fine and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a Venvistus Aqua de Spargi. And it, it is a cartridge converter pen, like the Magna Carta. And I, I am half tempted to see if I could actually get these converted to plunger fillers. Uh, but I will have to talk to a noter on that one and see. Um, would be interesting if I could. Um, but also, the, the thing I like about the cartridge converters is, is that if the converter did die at any point, you can just replace it because it's an international standard. The next pen inked up is the Anota Rosetta Stone. And again, this falls into that category of probably a pen that I will never sell. Uh, I'm sorry if, if you're watching this thinking, well, maybe I can buy that from Dave eventually. Uh, these, if I, had to, if I had to go to maybe half a dozen pens in my collection, say so those are the pens I'm going to keep. I think it would be these Anotos because I know that they're going to way surpass my lifetime. 
Um, I'm going to have very little, hopefully, issues with the pens compared to other pens. And, okay, they are expensive, but um, if I didn't need the money and I just wanted to downsize to six pens, then I probably would go to, for these pens. So this is the Anoto Rosetta Stone. Uh, and uh, this is a, a fine and it's an 18 cat gold nib. Now, um, I can swap the nibs out if I want to. So I could put a medium in here later on if I wanted to. And then the uh, ink in here, I, I wanted to say it was diamine. It's not. It's uh, Vendristus. Um, and uh, it is at Fumo de Landra. But that is a, a very nice grey ink. Uh, similar to Diamond Earl Grey. It's a darker grey, but, but not quite as dark. The next pen, uh, which is a newer pen for me, is the Anoto Jubilee or Platinum Jubilee pen. Uh, now, this is a medium nib, so it's going to be a much broader line. And when I say medium, it's more like a Western board, but... It doesn't bother me. I, I know a lot of people get bothered by that, but it doesn't bother me. Um, so it's an, a Noto, uh, and it's the uh, um, Platinum Jubilee pen. And uh, it's a medium, and it's an 18 count gold nib, number seven nib. And then uh, the ink in here is a Diamine. And it's majestic purple, which uh, is a beautiful ink. Uh, I honestly think I'm going to probably have that color inked up all the time. I I, I did have concerns. I, I wanted to put Diamond Earl Grey in it because I do put it in a lot of my silver pens. But I decided I would break with tradition and I can always remember a purple ink. For the queen so i figured that that would be okay and the next pen here is the anoto and this is a king's coronation pen and likewise i thought if i'm going to break with tradition on this uh queen jubilee pen platinum jubilee i would have to do the same on this one and a lot of uh the coloring around the king's coronation was blue uh, so um, I decided to put a blue ink in here, and this is the Anoto uh, King's Coronation uh, pen, and uh, again it's a medium 18 count gold nib. Writes more like a broad, but I don't mind that. Uh, and then the ink in here is Diamine Majestic Blue, and. I think I have mentioned last week that I might change that ink. I think once it runs out, yes, I probably will. I'll probably put a lighter blue in. I typically like lighter blue, turquoisey blues more so, so I probably will do that. Um, maybe Franklin Crystal Spanish blue, maybe Pilot Washizuku Compeki. Um, maybe even, I want to say Visconti Turquoise. Um, I, I would love to put Ren Vistas Aqua de Spargy in it, but I, I don't, I've already got that in that pen. So I, I want, ideally I want a different colored ink. The next pen inked up is the game, Montographic Game of Thrones, Winter is Here. And uh, this is a beautiful, again, work of art. All of these pens are works of art. And uh I recall back to a podcast many years ago where a bunch of uh, um, pen so-called so reviewers uh, said that I don't write with my pens and I'm just a collector. I write with all, well, I try to write with all of my pens. I, I have written with all of my pens. Maybe I don't write with them all on a regular basis, but I do write with them. So this is the Montegrappa. Uh, and this is the Game of Thrones 
and it's winter is here and it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is diamine earl gray which is obviously my favorite gray ink and uh i have it uh, inked up in this pen along with the Anoto Magna Carta as well. The next pen inked up is the Montegrappa Bartolomeo Ferrocina in shiny circles. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I do like how this writes and uh, it is a beautiful pen. It's the Montegrappa Uh, Bartolomeo Ferracina uh, in shiny circles and I am going to probably run out of space here it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is diamine Earl Grey again but it's just a favourite uh, gray ink that I like and if I could find another darker gray ink may, maybe maybe I should put that out to you if there is a darker gray ink that that if you have diamond oil gray and and you have found a dark gray ink similar to that let me know because I would certainly be interested uh, in the meantime I will probably be on the lookout I'll probably look at some of the other diamond gray inks but I don't think any of them are as dark a grey uh, as as this one. So um, we'll have to see. The next and last pen uh, inked up this week is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So we'll do an ink swatch on this as well. And... I just like this almost black. It, it's 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 a grey ink, and depending on the nib, it will look very dark grey or almost black. Um, so this is the Montegrappa, and it's the extra. And just realised it's actually running low on ink, so I'm just going to uh, prime the piston a bit there. So it's the extra 1930 shiny lines dove. And it's a medium and it's uh, an 18 count gold nib. And then the ink in here is again diamine or grey. I'm sorry, but it's just a grey ink that I do like. Uh, I will make a concerted effort to try and find a different gray ink and uh, start inking that up and seeing if I can like another gray ink. Uh, I, I think if I could buy, uh, I think right now, because I like Diamond Gray, Earl Grey so much, if I could buy uh, a litre or two litre bottle of that from Diamine, I probably would. And I know that sounds absolutely insane, but that's how much I like that grey ink. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. We've got an Anoto Magna Classic in the Chase Green in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Meadow. We have an Anoto Longitude in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Topaz. We have an Anoto Magna Carta in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Darwin Earl Grey. We have an Anoto British Museum Great Court Vitreous in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Venvustus Aqua di Spargi. We have an Anoto Rosetta Stone in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Venvustus Fumo di Londra. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Darwin Majestic Purple. We have an Anoto King's Coronation pen in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Blue. We have a Montegrappa Game of Thrones Winter is Here in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Montegrappa Bartolomeo Ferracina in shiny circles in a medium 
18 karat gold and inked up with Darmine Earl Grey. And then last but not least, we have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. So there you have it. That's my currently ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.